What's up y'all? Caliente Girls here. Robin Taylor. Today we have Iron Wolf in the house. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> and baby wolf. Right. And we hear the little baby in the background. Hi. Little baby wolf. Cutie. Awesome. Little princess. Yeah. So tell us about yourself. You're a personal trainer. Yes. A very uh, passionate personal trainer. Nice. What got you into all that? Um, I was in a very dark place uh, at a time. And yeah. um, it helped me find myself. Yeah. And um, I ran with it. Yeah. And um, it helped me remain strong, keep faith, and learn uh, self-discipline. Oh, for sure. And um, ever since then, I started noticing the progress over time. Mm -hmm. And um, I started loving myself, actually, from day to day. Yeah. And it's a very beautiful thing. And now that um now that I'm at a new uh, point in my life, I realize that I want to share it with the world. And um That's amazing. Yeah. That's thank awesome. You. I do um hit workouts. Uh, my friends put it on in the park by my house, so I go like 3 days a week do the hit workouts. And it's odd because like I also have depression and stuff like that, so it, it actually releases endorphins and mm -hmm. dopamines and it's I I love working out. The right kind of stuff. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Absolutely. What kind of um working out do you do? Are you into more weight training or running or all of it? It started off with a lot of weight training and um, now I see the beauty in different workouts. Like hit training, I, I yeah. got introduced to that recently. Uh calisthenics, I started falling in love with uh, also. So what is calisthenics? I've heard of it before. It's a lot of uh, body weight uh, workouts, a lot of bar workout, nice. no uh, extra equipment required. <laughs> nice. So what are you doing now like with the pandemic and the gyms being closed and stuff? How do you work out? Uh, over the years, um, my, since my value has been increasing, uh, uh -huh. I, got a, I got everything I need at home, surprisingly. Nice. That's nope. what it's about. Mm -hmm. Dope. Um, so tell us more about like your personal life and... Um, just about you in general and how you got here. Oh uh, well, I'm actually um, <laughs> surprisingly I'm a manager at, at a McDonald's. Mhm. Mm um, and I uh, also do security part time. Dope. And uh, yeah, that's, that's and then uh, I I started realizing you know what I'm very passionate in what I do and I want to make a business out of it. Uh huh. And um, that's what I've been working on lately. And yeah. I, I actually came to realize recently, which is uh, part of the process of um, self-love. Yeah, uh, totally. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, I want to, uh, I realize that I'm a motivator and then I actually want to, I want to actually motivate people, move people. That's uh, dope. You know, besides just moving weights all the time. Yeah, totally. It's awesome being, like, when you realize you learn more to love yourself because... When we love ourselves, we treat ourselves better, you know, and it's like when we don't love ourselves, we put ourselves through, you know, we might drink or do drugs or you do other stuff that like hurts us and then we might hurt other people close to us too. So I think self-love is like a, it's a big, it's a process, but it's, it's very rewarding. Absolutely. When you get to that place, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Yeah. And that's dope that you keep, that you keep it moving because like sometimes they get lost in like, Oh, just because they work these other jobs, they feel like it's never going to happen for them kind of thing. And it's like, I was working a full-time 9 to 5, coming home every night, live streaming, doing my music. It took me three years. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I would, like, work out right before work. I work mm -hmm. out once I get home. Yep. And, you know, the thought would cross my mind of, you know, why or... Oh, you're tired, and I'm like, no, this is for me. You know, yep, yep. I constantly work for other people. I need to work for me. You know. Totally, exactly. So many people they don't realize that. You know, they just come home after work and they feel so defeated. <laughs> and it's like, man, you got another three to five hours after work. Put it in. You know, get Absolutely. it in. So, what do you see for yourself in the next um, year to five years? What are you working towards? Motiv honestly, motivating young people. Yeah. There are. Uh, uh, I've been magnetized to to a lot of young people lately, mm -hmm. and um, they give uh, they uh, they give me so much they uh, they give me so much uh, purpose, yeah. you know, and uh, they help me realize that what I do is beautiful, even though guys my age kind of yeah. like belittle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, don't listen to them. They're just they're in their own stuff. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, hurt people hurt people. You know what I mean? People who are thriving and working on themselves, they don't hurt people. Or they try not to, you know. Exactly. So I try to remember that. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, though? Uh, what, 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 what makes the people 
uh, say things against your your movement? Um, they don't want to. Uh, uh, my honest opinion, from what I've been realizing, uh, they don't like staring at their own reflection. Um, it makes them question themselves too much, and they don't. Uh, they don't understand where my happiness is uh, coming from, and they want to um, shatter it. <laughs> sadly, and uh, I've been moving past it. And then uh, I, I noticed that with young people. Oh man, I could catch them. <laughs> I could catch them before they get too clouded, like I was. Yeah. And that's exactly what my old uh, Instagram name was, Clouded Wolf. And I named myself something without realizing that's how I truly felt. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I um, you said earlier that you didn't love yourself. Why did you think that you didn't love yourself? Uh, and what changed okay, you to Jesus. love yourself? Uh, I let I let depression take advantage of me. Uh, and I, and honestly, I'm. Uh, learning nowadays to utilize better words but so i'm gonna try to explain it the best way i can mm -hmm. but um yeah depression and stress of life and uh doubt fear all that was um um how do i, I put it it was overwhelming me and um i couldn't even bear to even love myself properly and um yeah and then uh you know with weightlifting day by day that was like a way i was uh, able to hold on to my faith and uh, actually see progress besides uh, the, the empty things around me, it was a way to distract myself. Okay, and now um, you just recently had a uh, kid. Yes. And you have a quote-unquote wife or girlfriend. Wife-to-be, yes. Wife-to-be. Um, why wife-to-be? Why not wife already? Uh, yeah, that's a, <laughs> I like the way you put that. I have to, you know, finalize everything. We are, honestly, I just ordered the bands. Uh, it should be coming in the mail next month. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yes. Okay. And how long y'all been together? Let's put wifey on the phone. How long y'all been together? Um, in May, we're going to be going on uh, four years. Four years? Yeah. So y'all been together four years and you haven't got married yet? And you got a kid? <laughs> oh, man. So you, you talk like y'all just started going together. <laughs> right? No, you're absolutely right, man. So how were you able to deal with him and his, his transgressions for four years? Um, Joe's just always had so much determination and passion in everything that he does. So to see him turn into the man that he's like, he's turning into, it's just, it really is just amazing. And um, you know, I still have my own growing I need to do. But watching Joe is just, it really just, mo it motivates you to do better. Um, it really pushes me to really look at myself and the things that I need to change. And it's, it's just been a really great experience seeing him grow from, from how he was before to who he is now. So how was he before? <laughs> um, he didn't have any goals. He didn't really know what he wanted to do in life besides working his nine to five job. Mm -hmm. That was that was it. He wasn't driving. He just he was just day by day. That mm -hmm. that's how he was seeing it. You didn't even drive, bro? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. So now you drive? Yes, all the time. <laughs> and and um, how much of that was your daughter that changed your perspective of life? To be honest with you, uh, I, I believe that was like, uh, like uh, if I had to put it into words, it was like a seed being planted. That uh, that did move me forward. And honestly, it, it kind of had me stir my reflection uh, that much more. And then, honestly, I, you know, six months go by and I'm like, no, you know, I, there's something else <laughs> that I'm not staring at. And right. I kept working on myself ever since, yeah, since, you know, since then. Right. So, um... I noticed that after you went on Instagram and you changed your formation and you said, you know, I, I've got a new light and I poured, a, you poured the alcohol in the toilet and all that <laughs> stuff. The next day, you had a picture of your girl up on, it, on, you, on your page, which you did not have for two years. No, so, so why did you decide to introduce the world to your family? It's hard to put into words, but honestly, um, I... I a, a deep sense of uh, appreciation came over me after uh, I realized the alcohol and the weed had to go. And uh, does your girl smoke or drink? No, no, um, no. Honestly, 
honestly, before me tossing the alcohol and all that down the the, the toilet, down the drain, mm -hmm. we would occasionally drink. And uh, blessed that I am, she's uh, rolling with me. Okay. So, um, and what brought that on where you just said, you know what, I don't want to drink anymore, I don't want to smoke weed, I just want to get my head clear? Uh, to be honest, it almost felt like a chemical reaction. Um, every day I work out, and you know what, honestly, uh, it's kind of, uh, <laughs> I probably don't want me to put it out there. There's been so many days when I would cry while working out, mm -hmm. and I would constantly tell myself, you know, I'm something better, I'm something better, and I'm going to, you know, lift weights until I come to realize that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, you know, push things until I push myself. And one day I woke up and then, bam, it kicked in. And then I was like, wow, I, all of a sudden I knew where I had to go. And then I noticed everything, that, everything that was truly beautiful around me. And I ran with it and I'm still running with it. And now, how tall are you? I used to think I was 5'4 for a very long time. And... Uh, <laughs> And people always say, are you sure? And I was like, yes, I'm 5'4". <laughs> and uh, honestly, I'm 5'3". So you, okay, so you're 5'3", and you, how much you weigh? Like 120-something? I'm um, 137. Okay, so you look, you look very little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on pictures you look big, you know, but mm -hmm. in, in real life you're really little. Does that, have a, does, that de does that have a deterrence for, you know, when people look at you and say, oh, you're a bodybuilder, oh, and, you know, and you're around much bigger stature people? Honestly, yes.